Okay, if you're taking a look at the HyperDoc, you will see that it mentions right here, there's a video review of the HyperDoc with Digital Neewame. Digital Neewame is the YouTube version of myself. Um, I'm recording this on a Friday. I do college Fridays, so I got on my uh, ISU tie, first day of school, so I like to wear a tie the first week. Uh, ISU coffee mug, I do do college Fridays. It's one of the norms you'll see from me. I'll be getting you some more of those norms things in a separate video. I want to take a look at this assignment first. Virtual locker assignment, first assignment of the year. You're sharing about me information using technology and resources available on the internet. Uh, you can describe your interests, hobbies, family, and things which are important to you. If you've never seen a hyperdoc, I do a quick review of how I usually lay them out uh, in the next thing. I do it kind of like a traffic light. So the colors have meaning, the things that are, uh, the things you need are linked. Green means go, as in do this part. Red means stop, take a moment to pause, follow the directions. So that'll be like if you have a turn in or if there's a test and assessment along the way. Um, a checkpoint, that kind of thing. Yellow means slow down and check where you're at. Gray is the directions. Blue has standards and objectives. You'll usually just see it right at the top. Essential questions are also going to be added to that starting this year. As always, there's Bitmoji Neewames to help guide you. You'll see a few of them have a full beard. Um, that's because I copied this off of a hyperdoc I was using this spring when I was growing a quarantine beard. Um, and I'll be getting those corrected as we go forward to the school year. So uh, if you're taking a look at the Video review, if you click on that link, then you're obviously already finding this, uh, if that's helpful. The video lesson. Uh, note, she talks about being a Bitmoji locker, but if you prefer to use a picture of yourself rather than Bitmoji, that's perfectly fine. So there's a video link there of an overview of the assignment. A uh, lady kind of comes in and just does it for you. Uh, using the template provided, I had pictures of clip art to represent you. Some of the ideas and topics you may want to include include family pictures, friend pictures, hobbies, activity or interest in sports places you like to travel be creative you have an opportunity to explain why you use the pictures so go ahead and use pictures rather than words i will also be creating a virtual locker okay for your final touches i want you to review make sure you've included everything you want make sure that anything you want to add the pictures aren't falling out of your locker all over the virtual floor uh and then that's the time to do your final corrections and edits for your presentation i'm going to give you a choice you can do a short video screencast like i'm doing right now and there's a link to it right there. Or you can just type up a short uh, four to seven sentence description, put it in a Google Doc and send that back. If you run into questions, email or office hours are 2.30 to 3.15 daily. That is Monday through Friday daily. I'm actually gonna go ahead and change that right now. Okay, so, um, ooh, that's good, Monday through Friday. And then you're going to attach your assignment and turn it in. That's it. That's all you got to do. It should be a pretty easy one for the start. Um, it's an eight-point scale, but I'll explain that more next week. Don't worry about the rubric. Just go ahead and do your best on the assignment. Best of luck. Um, as I always try to say at the end of these vlogs, take care of yourself and each other. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. From my household to yours, we love you. Enjoy the weekend.